Hey everybody, my name's Evan, and I think I just picked up the best accessory that you can get for your tractor bucket that's under 10 bucks. This is a cheap add-on to your tractor. What it is, is it's a weld-on hook. So this is what they call a weld-on grab hook. It is made to grab chain, like your log chain. And you can weld this to the top of your bucket. It will give you a place to uh, lift from. So it gives you a lifting point. It also gives you a place if you have any attachments that go on your bucket and you have to chain it to your bucket, it will give you a good place to be able to chain uh, those add-on attachments to your bucket. So I did buy this at Amazon. This is made for 3 8 inch chain. So this is a heavy duty one. I bought this off of Amazon for like around $8. Now shortly after I ended up um, buying this and had it delivered, I actually found some locally at a home improvement store. Um, so I was at Menards and in the trailer department where they have all the trailer tie downs and all the different things that you can do to your equipment trailers and your cargo trailers, they had these weld on hooks there so that you could weld that to your trailer. So you might be able to source these locally and be able to weld these to your tractor bucket. Now, if you don't have a welder, they do sell these online that are already pre-welded to a piece of steel plate. And all you have to do is, is drill a couple holes in your bucket and bolt it on. So that Now, drilling a hole through like quarter inch plate or three eighths inch plate of a bucket is not gonna be an easy task, but that may be um, an option for a lot of people out there that don't have a welder. So, when I found these at Menards, they were anywhere from about three to six dollars. And if you want to buy the bolt-on ones online, the bolt-on ones are anywhere from about twenty-five to thirty dollars for a bolt-on hook. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. We're going to weld these hooks on. We're going to weld them on on toward the sides. I'm going to put them right behind the lift arms, or right in front of the lift arms, right there, the hydraulic cylinders. And you're going to be more stable near the corners of your bucket. If I put a lifting hook in the middle of the bucket, there's more chance that if you lift with it, it could bend your bucket. So we're going to try to keep these closer to the sides where it's more stable. So now that I've got the, uh, the hook tack welded on, I'm ready to start welding. Now you can see these hooks, they have a nice chamfered edge here at the bottom, and that's for where you put your weld. So your weld needs to uh, fill in from down here at the point all the way up to the top of that chamfer. So you're gonna have a nice thick weld. So I'm using a MIG welder today, and it may take me a couple passes to be able to build my weld up thick enough to be able to cover the top part of that chamfer. But you want a nice big, beefy weld for this to be able to be as strong as what it's rated for. So I've got my hooks welded on the bucket and I am by no means a welder. I am just a do-it-yourselfer. I'm just the guy that likes building stuff. And I can strike an arc and I can make a weld, 
but it's just not going to be probably a very pretty weld. So that first hook over there, that's exactly what that was. I struggled with that first hook and that weld came out looking ugly. Now it was a good weld, but it was just an ugly weld to look at. So I took an angle grinder to it and I smoothed that weld down so that it's nice and smooth all the way around. It's a lot more appealing to the eye. And I, now I, I'm pretty happy with the way, the way both of these hooks look. I'm ready to go ahead and put some spray paint on them and go test it out. So you see, I, I uh, lifted that um, disc up and I was able to move it around and I put it in a different location without any issues. And I just used these two hooks as a lifting point and they worked out just fine. I did just use one 3 8 inch chain. I put it through both of the hooks and then I took the two ends, I wrapped it around the disc and I was able to lift it. But you could also put one chain on this hook, one chain on that hook, and you could actually have four ends and you could rig something up with all four of those and you could adjust those so that your load is balanced and, and lifting level. And uh, so I think that with these two hooks and one or two chains, I think you've got a lot of different ways that you could rig something. I think it'll work out great uh, for, you know, for lifting and moving things around. You can also see that it works out pretty good for the, uh, the attachments that fit on the front of your bucket. So I have a set of clamp-on pallet forks here and the clamps aren't enough to really keep these forks on the, the bucket. You really need to chain them on. And the way these are made is you put a chain through here and you're supposed to wrap it all the way around the bucket and then chain it on the bottom side. And then you use chain binders to tighten it to the bucket. Well, that is not handy at all to be able to try to wrap a chain around that and then to get to the bottom side of those forks. So this is way handier. I just have these hooks here and I'm just binding the top back there on each side and now these pallet forks they are not going anywhere they are on there tight and i think that's just going to be a lot easier way to clamp these you know and chain these to the bucket using these hooks um, i also have a hay spear that chains to the bucket as well and i'll probably be able to use these hooks to help put the hay spear on as well so i think uh, the hooks will be handy for lifting but they'll also be handy for any attachments that I want to put on the tractor bucket. So I've been wanting to do this for a while and I'm happy I finally got it done. So this was only about $16 in hooks and about two hours of time to get these welded on. And I think these are going to be the handiest modification that I've done to this tractor. I will probably use these every week 
because I am always moving and lifting things around, uh, whether it be wood that I'm cutting and logs, or whether it's just um, stuff here around the farm. I mean, it, it's amazing how often you lift with a tractor and these hooks are gonna, they're gonna come in super handy. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.